Hello! Welcome to Ham Club video number eight! <laughs> we will have one more next week to start you off on your summer with eight. lots of links to other drama sites and fun physical comedy movies and clips and things that you can do to uh, enjoy and uh, increase the ham in you over the summer. So I'm telling you, let's start with the pledge. Finest actor stance, I have never been afraid. I have never been afraid. Of looking silly. Of looking silly. For I am ham. For I am ham. I go big. I go big. Or I go home. Or I go home. For I am ham. For I am ham. When I am not performing. When I am not performing. I am watching and listening. I am watching and listening. For I am ham. For I am ham. We are ham. We are ham. All right, we're going to do, we're going to use our voices today. We talked about in the beginning, three things an actor uses, right? Their body, their mind, and their voice. Uh, so today we're going to be uh, telling, uh, playing a couple little story games. So we're going to use our voices and our imaginations, but we're going to warm up our voices. So I believe we talked about this in an earlier uh, video, but we're going nice. to, it all starts with breathing, right? I know you know the breathing tool, and if you do yoga or you sing, or any kind of exercise, you're a musician, it's all about breathing, right? Breathe, breathe, breathe. So, Veronica is going to demonstrate. I want you to imagine that your tummy, your abdomen, is a balloon. And when you breathe in, you fill that balloon with air. See, and it goes out. You can put your hand there, and if, when you take a breath in, it pushes your hand away. Now she's breathing out, and her tummy is flat again. Breathe in, take a deep breath in, right? And the balloon gets bigger, and then you breathe out, and you deflate the balloon. So before you speak on stage or uh, in an acting exercise, you wanna always make sure you're taking nice, big, deep breaths with your using your diaphragmic muscle, it's the big muscle right there that goes across your tummy and across your back. And, uh, and then you're breathing out while you're speaking. You're not holding your breath while you are performing. It's easy when you're nervous to forget to breathe. And that can really mess you up. As long as you're remembering to breathe, you should be okay. If you find yourself having difficulty performing, try tuning in on your breathing and keeping it steady. And that will make you feel better. Mm -hmm. Really helps with any kind of stage fright or nerves. All right, and we're gonna do, while we're doing our breathing, we are also going to do one tongue twister each. Veronica would like to teach you her favorite so tongue twister. So this is one I made up. It's Cecilia Collects Crawling Critters. Cecilia Collects Crawling Critters. Let's say that three times fast. Cecilia collects crawling critters. Cecilia collects crawling critters. Cecilia collects crawling critters. That's hard. That's a good one. She made that up. All right, Richard, what's your favorite? Toy boat. 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 See, you lose it. Three times fast. Toy boat. Toy boat. Toy boat. Toy boat. Toy boat. It's very hard. Toy boat. 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 You have to concentrate. You've got to really concentrate. All right, here's mine. It's a little bit easier. Unique New York. Unique New York. You know you need unique New York. Unique New York, unique New York, you know you need new, unique New York. <laughs> All right, uh, so as you can see, it's not just about uh, your breathing calms you down and helps you project, and volume is very important, but so is diction. Unique New York, you have to remember to finish unique. each sound before you not start the next. 
because your audience has not heard what you're going to say before. So you need to be clear and uh, make sure that they can hear and understand you. All right, so we're gonna play two games today. The first one is called One Word Story. Yes, it's very fun. And it's exactly what it sounds like. So when you don't plan anything out ahead of time, you go in a circle usually, although if there's just three of you at home, you can you know do it on the couch or do it at the dinner table or whatever. Um, and uh, and you got to stick to one word, and you want to try to really listen and not plan what you're going to say, and have a beginning, middle, and end. And you can keep the story fairly short. It's easier that way. As you get better, you can try to go a little longer. But uh, we're going to start, how about uh, Richard will say the first word. <clears throat> Once upon a time there was a frog who liked cheese. She ate cheese all the time until she discovered that she <laughs> Loved ice cream. <laughs> she decided to eat ice cream all the time from then on. The end. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you get the idea. You can decide ahead of time if you want to make a theme or something. Um, and then we're gonna do another little word game. This one is called Fortunately Unfortunately. It's an awesome game! <laughs> so, usually you start with unfortunately. One person will start with unfortunately. Unfortunately it's bad and fortunately it's good for you, yeah. those who don't know. Yes, as Veronica said, <laughs> unfortunately is something bad that happened, fortunately, is something good that happened to make the bad thing not so bad. All right, we will demonstrate. And I'll, I'll start this one. Unfortunately, I forgot to close the shower curtain and flooded the bathroom floor. Fortunately, we got to get snorkeling that day. Unfortunately, there was a shark down in that water. Fortunately, I was able to teach him some tricks. Unfortunately, the goldfish, Goldie, got eaten by the shark. Fortunately, then the shark was so full he didn't want to eat me. <laughs> Unfortunately, he grew even bigger than the bathroom. Fortunately, there's an aquarium nearby. Unfortunately, the door to the aquarium was locked. Fortunately, we were able to break in using a bobby pin. <laughs> Unfortunately, that one of the guides at the aquarium called the authorities. Fortunately, we explained to the police and they told us that that was okay, that shark had to go somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> the end. <laughs> You could keep that going. You could go down with forever <laughs> with something like that. Yes. Uh, so these are two really easy, no prep, fun games to getting your imagination, storytelling skills, and your voice involved. Teamwork is very important too. And listening. Yeah. 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 All right. <clears throat> uh, again, remember we have one more video next summer to kick uh, next week to kick start your summer. We're gonna do a summertime kickoff. Yeah. So we will see you next week, and let's do our closing pledge. Cold ham, ladies and gentlemen. I have never been afraid. I have, have never been, been afraid. afraid. Of looking silly. Of looking silly. Brian Ham. Brian Ham. I go big. I go big. Or I go home. Or I go home. For I am ham. For I am ham. When I am not performing. When I'm not, not performing, I am watching and listening. I am watching and listening. For I'm ham. For I am ham. We are ham. We are ham. See you guys next Bye. week. Bye, everybody. <laughs>